It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've got a beer here that I've just been stood admiring, just looking at the can, admiring the artwork on this can. It's by Beat Brewery in Lewis. It's a 6% ABV coconut porter called Heroes. And I think the name of the beer and the, the, the picture on the can explains itself, doesn't it? That picture probably was taken in the 1930s. Everything was kept nice and tidy, swept, brushed, cleaned. I wonder if you brought this man back today, on the, the man on the can here, brought him back today and showed him the streets of the UK today. He would be shocked, wouldn't he? Absolutely shocked. And his first question would probably be, does anybody pay any taxes anymore? But I'm not going to get too political. I'm not going to talk about politics and all that kind of stuff. Because, again, I have my own views on that. But it's a beer review. You haven't come here for that, have you? You've come here to escape all of that news. And you've come here to watch a beer review. A man drinking a coconut porter. we got a three-finger uh, tan-coloured head. Jet black beer in the glass. Good amounts of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Looks fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Head is sticking. Staying where it is. Wonderful. Let's get the aroma. Oh, you know. <laughs> it smelled so good that I actually I actually dipped my nose into the beer, into the in, into the head. Carried on like, you know, head dropped down into the <laughs> into the beer. It smells delicious. Roasty, toasty, coffee, chocolate, caramel aromas coming through. A little bit of pipe tobacco smoke. Coconut, of course, vanilla. Let's see if it's a can conditioned beer. Well, we'll check in a moment. I can't quite get all of the beer into the glass. It smells delicious, looks delicious. I've had a couple of big beers now and they've been wonderful. They've been really, really wonderful. I'm really pleased that I picked up a load of big beer in my local bottle shop. We'll have a look at the price now, um, how much I paid for it. But let's get into it first. I wanna have a taste. Okay, it's a sweet beer, definitely a sweet beer. But on the back end, you still get that roastiness. You still get that roasty toastiness coming through. Real kind of organic coconut real lovely coconut flavors coming through but a lovely a lovely bitterness on the back end a lovely bitterness it really is a drinkable it's got a fantastic mouth feel it's creamy rich lovely tasting mouth feel Perfect, really. 
absolutely perfect for the day. I mean, I'm not sure if you can hear this. It's dried up a little bit now, but um, it's been hammering down with rain today here in South Wales. And it's been one of those days where you thought to yourself, oh, let's just, you know, let's crack open a porter. We're in the last throes of winter. The last few days. In fact, I actually had to dig my body warmer out. It was a, I was about to kind of put it away for the winter. And I woke up this morning and I was like, ooh, ooh, the little snap. The last winter snap of March is here. It's March the 27th, 28th. It's, it's Tuesday, March the 28th today. Might be a little while before I release this video, but it's Tuesday, March the 28th. And it's the last little snap of winter. Hopefully tomorrow I can get rid of this body warmer. I can stick it upstairs out the way and forget about it for the rest of the summer. Think about getting the shorts out. But the reason I mention that is because it's perfect weather still. Perfect weather for a coconut porter. I think if you're going to use any adjunct in a beer, any kind of adjunct at all, in a, in a porter or a stout, Either vanilla, chocolate, coffee, or coconut works. It really does work. The coconut in the beer offers a, it's almost like a, it almost kind of catches the back of your throat, the coconut flavour. It almost offers like a resiny kind of little burn on the back of the throat. You're then picking up the qualities of the, the roasted malt in the beer, that chocolate, that coffee, that caramel you get from the roasted malt. So what the brewer will do, or the maltster will do, is they'll, they'll grab hold of a, 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 a pale malt and they'll roast it. They'll roast it like a coffee bean. A coffee bean is green when you pick it in the field. It's only dark brown more or less black when they roast it and then you get all that lovely roasty flavor very much very similar with malt if you roast malt if you make malt go from a very pale looking color to a roastedness you're going to get that kind of burnt the burnt flavors of, of of a bitter dark chocolate bitter coffee and a little bit of sweet caramel in there because they still have a little bit of light malts in there. And it all works really well with the coconut. It really does. Look at the lacing on the glass. It is a sweet beer. I'm going to have a look at the ingredients. It is a sweet beer. I am wondering if there is a bit of a kind of a sweet addition. Right, the ingredients are the ingredients are uh, malted barley, oats, hops, coconut, and vanilla. So it's the coconut and the vanilla, vanilla that's offering the sweetness in the beer. Then this coconut, vanilla, and oat porter was produced in collaboration with Edward Reeves, widely acknowledged as the world's longest established photographic studio. The photo on this label was taken in 1912. I said 1930s, didn't I? I said 1930. 1912. And shows a road sweeper called Mr. Deacon at the top of St. Swithin's Terrace in our hometown of Lewis, East Sussex. Edward Reeves. Isn't that fantastic? I know this world wasn't perfect. The world on this can wasn't perfect. I know there was a lot of TB. I know there was a lot of disease. I know there was a lot of, you know, war as well. We're about, they were about to go into a major war in 20 years time. Actually, they were in the middle of a war, weren't they? Yeah, in the... Was it 1930? First World War. Anyway, um, but what I love about that picture, what I absolutely love about that picture, is that even though they had 
a lot of stuff to battle with. TB, disease, wars, you know. That picture is a picture of absolute pride. Absolute pride. Look at it. He's got a he's got a pocket watch in his in his jacket there. He's smartly dressed. Smartly dressed. He's got his truck that is nicely painted with his broom. Let me ask yourself a question. I promised I wouldn't go into it, but I am going into this a little bit now. I won't be long with it. When was the last time you've seen a road sweeper? With the amount of your outgoings go out every month, I'm not going to use the T word anymore because I'm, I'm fearful of this video getting pulled down. I'm going to be very careful on YouTube these days about what you say. Let's use that three letter word with beginning with T. Yeah, we all we all pay it, yeah. Um they paid the same amount of that three letter word beginning with T back then. And look at the roads. Look at the roads, look how pristine everything is, look how lovely and clean everything is. Look at the look at look at the way that man's dressed, look at his cart. You just don't see that today, do you? If you walk around my I, I actually put a video up a couple of months ago of the area where I live. In, in, in Barry in South Wales and it's atrocious. It's absolutely atrocious. Start off by opening my front door and stepping through litter. That wouldn't have happened in his day. That would not have happened in his day. It really wouldn't. Anyway, he probably drank porter and stout as well. I'm not gonna call it the good old days because they probably wouldn't, they probably weren't really. Um, not with war and disease, but, you know, it's like either side of a coin, isn't it? Some days you have a good day, some days are not so good, you know, some days are better than others, some times are better than others. What am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say that I hope the world becomes a better place in the, in the future, I suppose. Um, promise not to get political. I got slightly political. Never mind. Let's rate it. It looks good. It smells good. Tastes fantastic. Tastes fantastic. I like that beer enough to give it. I'm going to say 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.